In two days, a Dusty Trip video, this is going to be a updated beginner's guide video. So if you're brand new to a beginner's guide and you don't know already, there's a ton of new stuff that's been added to the game. The game's been out for a while, so this is a new updated guide video showing all of the new stuff in the game. As well as showing you how to survive in the game with all of the new updates that we've got. The game has completely changed from like two weeks ago so there's a ton of new stuff in the game that you need to know about to survive in the game so if you're wondering what's new i'm just gonna quickly go over what's new guys because there's so much stuff such as balanced hunger balanced consumption rate there's so much stuff and balances in the game everything's changed which does mean in this guide video i'm gonna show you guys what you need to bring in your car what you need to do how you to start the car so this is everything if you are watching this video watch all the way to the end and you'll be able to know everything about the game so let's get stuck right in guys by showing you how to play the game in a beginner's well in a dusty trip let's get started guys when you do spawn in, you've got the choice to build the van or the car. The, the van is behind the building. I highly recommend you build in the van. The van needs four wheels, one engine, one radiator, and you also need fuel just like the car. So just bring the van. The van is a better vehicle. You can fit more in. Believe it or not, it's faster than the car, believe it or not. So yeah, if you want to clean the van, use the sponge like I did get the engine, the engine just go inside of the van, sit down and place the engine right there like I did. Then sometimes guys in the new update, a lot of the gas canister does actually get stuck but if you keep on trying you can bring it out like that. So if the gas goes right there, just fill it up guys by left clicking. I'm gonna show you guys how to rotate and headlights and everything in just a moment. We have a radiator goes right there, as you can obviously see. The radiator needs water, the engine needs oil, the car needs gas. So go ahead, just put on everything on the car, the game's just so buggy. But yeah, we need to put on the headlight guys as well. So if you wanna put headlights on the van, I'm gonna do that right now guys. So the headlight is right there, put it on. And I'm gonna show you how to turn on the headlight. Make sure you bring spare parts by pressing Z on your keyboard to attach stuff to your van. Press R, put the handbrake down, and then you should be able to drive. The handbrake is usually so down roll. Pick up an item by pressing F, hold right click, and move your mouse to actually rotate stuff. Pick up the headlight and left click on the headlight to turn it on or you can press a button in the van like I done to turn on the headlight. That's how you drive the van. Here's all of the events that are new in the game. Heatwave event, Eclipse event, Sandbug event as well as the other events in the game such as the Storm event and Car Troubles event. So these are the events that you need to survive from. You can survive, oh and there's also tornadoes in the game. So if you want to survive from a tornado, just drive away from it, just randomly spawn. Heatwave event is pretty much pointless. Eclipse event, look away from the sun and you should be chilling. Sand bug event, just basically stay away from the sand bugs and you should survive there. The most annoying events in the game are Storm, Tornado and Sandstorm. If you want to survive yourself from a stand Sandstorm event, make sure you've got all of the doors on your van or car and you should be fine. You can hide from Sandstorm event, from hiding in buildings. If you don't, if you're basically outside in a Sandstorm, you're just going to take slowly take damage. Storm event, just destroy your car and if you get hit by lightning, you just die. So just stay in your car when there's a Storm event. And all of the other events are pretty much pointless, guys. Like, if you die to an eclipse, you're just dumb. Because if you stare at the sun, you're literally just gonna die, guys. So, yeah. Basically, what you want to do, guys, in the new update, there's been a balanced hunger. Make sure you are always eating food, guys. Your hunger will always go down really, really quickly. Please always make sure that you attach food to your car now. So if you're new to the game, before you didn't really need hunger, now you need hunger. So always make sure you check your hunger. 
you don't really need gas, oil and water as much. The least, the most not important thing you need is water because you can still drive a van without the radiator, but the car just overheating you have to wait. So yeah, just make sure you're getting gas and oil, that's pretty much the main things you need, and also get water obviously. But yeah, that's basically what you need, just always go to buildings and get those. But yeah, the best way to actually kill mutants is by using guns. You can also kill, guys, you can kill mutants with the axe, but if I'm going to be brutally honest with you, it's better just to use guns. Guns are more common than axes, believe it or not. To aim, like I said, if you use a rotating thing, I told you, you should be able to kill the some mutants. You guys should know how to use a gun in the game, obviously. I'm just gonna let you guys know, when it is night time, you do need to go ahead and have... Pretty m you literally need better, like, you need headlights that are really, really good. If you don't, you're gonna really be struggling in the dark, guys. So in the new update, we've actually got, like, better headlights in the game, guys. So, yeah, if you ever see these new headlights, make sure you are attaching them to your van. Because as you can see, I did attach them to the van, and the van is like really, really bright, and you can see in the darkness, so it's really important you get that headlight, guys, really. If you go to buildings, you can upgrade your engines, there's loads of different engines in the game, just switch the engines, the only engine you need to worry about is the V8 engine. The V8 engine does require diesel in the van instead of gas to drive. There's better radiators in the game, so if you do see the performance cooling radiator, just switch it to the normal one that you've actually got. So yeah, that's all you need to know guys, how to play the game pretty much. Just make sure you're always bringing food with you now. And yeah, you don't really need to worry about fuel as much. Before you really did need to bring fuel forever, wherever you want, but now you don't. Which is pretty cool, but... Yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you, just drive as far as you can. Every single 5, 10, 15 and 20,000 meters is a milestone. If you want to know how to complete those milestones and get passed through the bridge, bandit camp, watch my other videos. But yeah, that's everything I wanted to show you and peace out guys.